Hi folks, I welcome you back to Global Education Zone. And in this episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to draw the development of the fruit stem of the cone. So in this case, the first thing you should do is you should have drawn your plan and divided it into a number of parts. So in this case, eight parts. So we radiated the lines to the base of the front elevation and then we use the radial line method to radiate those lines, those same lines to the apex. So this is the apex, the very top. Then the next thing for us to do is we'll draw a um, curve from this side of the apex. So this is the true length. We don't need to draw any true length as in the previous episode. So in the previous episode, we, we had to draw a, a true length, but in this case, we don't need the true length. So all we need to do is we now count off the the um, length. So this length will be the the radius, the, the division. So each of the equal divisions, we we'll count it off. So we we'll count it twelve times. So because we have twelve equal divisions, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now I've cut them off. The next thing is to uh, move all these um points to the right, to the right. So this is where they belong. So this this point they will cut the that line. So also the middle we also cut it. So the, so we have a lot of points to radiate. That means we have to be very careful. Total we have um, four, five, six, seven. We have seven points. So I guess we also four, five, six, seven. The next thing we're going to radiate the points starting from the smallest. Let's start from the smallest. As well as the next one. What's up the next one? What's up the next one? Then the next. Then the then the next. You find this this last so after we're done we'll not begin to match the point so in this case let's let's call this number one two three number four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so number one and numbers okay number one is on this so this will this should be number one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. So we should go back to number one after I just we just we still get back to number one. Number one. So we we'll join all these to the apex. So this apex, let's join all these divisions to the apex. So I'm joining them to the apex. So finally, after we're done with that, we're going to match each of the vertices on this line. So for number one, we have the vertex at this um this point here at the top. For number two, we have it on the next. For number three, we have it at the next. Number four at the next. Number five at the next. Number six. Yes, I guess it's for number six. So this for number six, we have it here. What's this number have for number seven? The lowest. So we keep getting something like that. So then we'll get back to the initial. So we are back to the first one. So the next thing to do is we'll just draw a curve through this point. So I'll first trace it out on my pen. This is how the curve will look. This is how the curve will look. Curve looks like this. So then the next thing to do is we'll just 
Try the covers with the French cuff. I will have this one. So we also need to draw the draw a line, a thick line through all these points. So this is the thick line. So this is the thick line that shows the development. So we don't need to draw the, the straight line because this is a cone. So a cone is a curve. If it were a, um, a pyramid, we we'll have to draw straight line straight of these divisions. But since it's a cone, we we'll just draw a curve through the divisions. So now we we'll draw this straight line. These are the development will look like. So this is the development of the um, fruit stone of a cone.